Whoa, so what is growing on? Brisk morning here in Florida today. It's mid-April, it is like in the mid 40s. Ryan said when he left his place it was 42. And today we're doing a little fun project with propagation and digging up bamboo. This clump here behind me is next. Actually already started on the graceful. It was cold when I got going, didn't even think about making a video. I'm like, this is kind of interesting. Going to grab the camera. This clump is next and what we've done is we've come in with the chainsaw. You can do this with a sawzall, you can do this with loppers, depending on the size of the cane. Cut everything at about three to four foot, and then we'll go around it with the pony shovel, and then I'll come in with my forks, pick the clump up, or we'll bring the clump to the other property, because that's where we want to spread this bamboo, and we'll split that up with the sawzall. Um, when I'm finished up, I'm gonna replant a three gallon Alphonse car. When I'm finished up with the Graceful, I'm gonna replant a three gallon Graceful. Let's head over there and see some action. And that's what's left of the clump. So we're gonna take one bamboo and hopefully turn this into a hundred. Once I dig this up, we're gonna put this guy back in its place. Hey, got bamboo? Oh, what's going on? You taking all this stuff home oh. or what, bro? What are you do with all this? Make a biochar? We should. So unfortunately, you could save the canes. You can do something with this stuff. We we're just gonna bring it to the other property, let it dry out, eventually burn it. Um, and obviously the Kubota is my tool for the job for getting this thing out of the ground. Ideally, I'd have the bigger loader and we're gonna use this cap rock shovel for cutting the roots around the bamboo. All right, Mr. Ryan is finishing going around with this thing with the pony shovel. I'm gonna try to get you guys some action here as I dig it out. Let's see how this works. So a little finesse, that's how it's done. One bamboo into a hundred. It has definitely taken us about an hour and a half here this morning. And I'm gonna fill that hole with compost. I'm gonna plant this guy there, a little fertilizer, a little mulch, some amendments, and put the drip irrigation back on it. And this is gonna come to the other farm. Gonna chop it up and hopefully turn it into a hundred. Stay tuned for the Alphonse car. All right, so it's dry season. The most important part is with planting the new bamboo and the bamboo we're transplanting is water. Um, I do have some drip irrigation in this area or micro that's tied into the nursery. It only comes on for about five minutes a day. I'm gonna put in about an extra 200 gallons of water on this thing, really get it started. And we've added some fertilizer. And in a couple years, this will be a big clump again. And that is a little three gallon. Might be my favorite variety. All right, this clump doesn't have quite as many canes. I estimated the uh, graceful we just did to have probably about 120. This one's probably closer to 70 or 75. It's not quite a dense a clumper as the graceful is. Really does well in the shade. This is that yellow cane green stripe variety. Going to water the other one. We get you guys some action. Boom! There she is. She did all the work. You got this, Kiki. Oh, you don't even come say hello to the camera. I see how it is. What's up? Come on, man. You know they want to see you. You're killing me. You are killing me. All right. That's all that's left of her. we got about 75 canes here. Time to rip her out of the ground. Kiki, you got this? Dig it up. She's definitely a digger. This one cut way smoother than the graceful. Um, that one seemed to splinter a lot more, even though we still have some splinters. The other one was a real mess. Oh, got bamboo.
Oh, that's the motion, Ryan. Keep it up. Good work. Yeah. You can't yeah. go faster. You can't go faster. Come on. All right, just teasing. Just teasing. Let's see what this thing does. irrigation bamboo in the shade zone we've got a couple more established clumps already back here so really planted this originally for privacy there's a new one little baby mature clump all right heading to the new property got bamboo stay tuned all right just thought i'd give you guys a little bamboo action we're also getting the fields tarp today you can see um they've got the front one done we're going to need some more sandbags because that one is definitely starting to blow up a little bit but we got the sawzall out. We're starting to lay out that graceful line here. And that's going on that north end where I got no overhead, full sun. And kind of where, well, you'll see in here in a second where we're starting it. Um, eventually I'll end up putting windscreen on the whole entire fence, but just haven't got that far yet. And we're doing this variety at six foot on center. And I'm gonna do the Alphonse car at 10 foot on center because it's a much wider clumper. And you can see what's left of this clump probably made about 40 bamboos and there might be another 30 or 40 in there all the pieces here on the ground and the sawzall works really well for that I got the uh, little generator going today can't even hear this thing good old Honda oh. well, that's where we're getting our power I did bring an electric sawzall but the um, I mean I'm sorry battery powered sawzall but the electric one is more efficient and we're just starting to lay out this back line most of this doesn't need a lot of prep we've already mulched it got a little bit of sod cutting down there and I've got a tortoise spot I gotta skip but this whole stretch is about to have bamboo and in a year from now it'll start to fill in and then two years from now you won't even know there's houses behind here this is gonna provide wind protection this is gonna provide sound protection um, also just a privacy break permanent fence um, you know multi-use so won't be able to see us over here in the nursery here in about a year all right, stay tuned. Uh, the Alphonse car is going all the way over on that west line. That variety tends to do a little better in the shade. Probably don't have quite the stretch over there either. I have to run and get some poles. When I get back, I'll show you guys what's growing on. Quick little day two update. Got a little Honda out here charging some batteries. Probably about 20 pieces left. I'll go over there and show you. We've planted a good section of this north line at least on this back side. Um, working on the far west end now. I'm gonna put a couple of pieces of graceful over here on the far south end where I've got a lot of overhead height. And as soon as we start to get into more of a shade zone, I'm gonna switch over to that Alphonse car, which means we're kind of going from that 30 foot variety to the 20 foot variety also. A little bit shorter, so somewhere in this range we'll go Alphonse. I'm gonna take that all the way to the shade ends, and then I'm gonna finish my graceful to about over there. The guys are cutting up the Alphonse this morning. Got the bread bed all prepped out. Um, my bed width here is 10 foot. I'm planting the bamboos six foot off the fence. We're doing the graceful six foot on center and we're doing the Alphonse car about 10 foot on center, which is about the center of each panel over here. A Little bit of side cutting and a little bit of hand prepping to get it where we need to go, but probably getting about, I don't know, 50 pieces out of this Alphonse car clump. And I probably ended up with about 90 um, out of the graceful kind of the back of the house here. I've got my Quan's nut hut and some tubes we use for moving um, A couple of bags of rock you guys are prepping this line now And this is about well, I might even take it to the cedar right here um, My transition point when I'll go back to Graceful and graceful is pretty much just gonna go from this hose bib to the next hose bib Because from the next hose bib to where I've got bamboo the neighbor behind me already planted bamboo I'm very lucky there um, he started to plant some in the backyard on the side here, but nothing along this back line. So we're going to continue that buffer Actually, it's before the hose bib kind of where you see the little chicken house over the fence Lots of prep to do yet. I'll get in here with the sod cutter um, Maybe the machine a little bit in the rake just to get any of those deeper roots and this is that Point where the bamboo is planted on the back side all the way to where I have planted so 
I'll go to probably even in front of the chicken coop with the graceful, um, probably about another 40 pieces to get us where we need to be. We finally gotten rid of that big log pile and something I didn't mention to you guys, I've really started covering a lot of the property in mulch wherever we've had bare soil. Um, but just kind of put a layer of mulch down, preventing a lot of those pioneer weeds, um, hoping to kind of just contain them for the short period of time and promote some of the better grasses coming back in here. And I'm going to put some Bahia seed down in some of these open areas. And this is what we planted yesterday. Most of these ended up with about two canes each, three canes each. I just have this running off of a hose bib right now. Might eventually put a timer in. I'll probably put one of those crank timers on the hose bib and just come over and turn it on every day while we're here for an hour. Once we get into rainy season, I'll shut it down. And next year in dry season, I still have it there if I want to hook it up and run it again. But this is a pretty good stretch. We've taken this all the way to the corner. And once I complete this whole back line on this edge, we're actually going to jump over to that side piece and then go up to the front gate. And we want to landscape the entrance so we're getting there stay tuned um hope you guys enjoyed the propagation video kind of turning one into a hundred um, or close to it ended up with a lot of graceful here so it's been a lot of fun hope you guys enjoyed this video i am going to get back at you with another update next week because power will be here i won't be running the generator anymore I'm going to finish the drip irrigation um, zone which is about another ten thousand square foot of black mat over in that area then we're moving to the back fence so one more nursery coming out here soon it is 2023 guys. Hope you have started a garden. Hope you started a food forest. Hope you're planting some fruit trees. Most importantly, pound some dirt.